People learn in different ways. Some learn better by seeing what they need to know, while others learn better by hearing it. Still others learn best by having hands-on opportunities. In reality, everyone uses all three of these methods to learn to their best ability, even if they do prefer one particular method over the other. The good news is you are participating in video-based training. This means you have the opportunity to see and hear instruction. And because you can replay movies as many times as you want, you also have the power of repetition to assist in your learning process. As much as possible, we also want you to be able to have that hands-on experience. As they say, nothing beats actually doing it. In this series, you will be able to perform a lot of the tasks without anything other than what you have already available on your computer. We'll be working with some files that already have the data we need in it. That way, we don't have to spend a lot of time keying in data. You should already know how to do that part. By the way, as more and more people may be using touch-enabled devices, anytime I say things like click, you should know that equates to a gesture such as tapping. Likewise, typing information can be done on a regular keyboard or a on-screen keyboard or even voice, depending on what you have. Now, back to those exercise files. I'll be using specific files to demonstrate the features and skills that we'll be discussing in this series. You can use any file that you have that fits the need. It's always better if you can use your own data. That way, you know and understand it better. I know that sometimes it's not that easy to find or come up with your own data, though, and I don't want you to spend unnecessary time trying to find or create a file that will work for what we're trying to do. If you have a file that you can access easily that works, great. Go ahead and use it. But if not, I'll remind you the file that I'm using and that it can be found in the Working Files folder that you received as part of this training package. Within the Working Files folder, you'll find folders for each chapter. If there are files that I use to demonstrate, you'll find them there. I'll give you the file name at the actual time in the training when I use them, so it won't become confusing. Remember, at these times, you can use the provided working files or your own files, whichever you prefer. As long as your data meets the requirements for a table, we're good to go. What's important is that you repeat the demonstrations in order to reinforce your learning and the retention of your skills. It doesn't really apply to this particular series because everything uses a file. But if for some reason there aren't any specific files used for a particular chapter, I'll include a text document in the folder for that chapter that says no files were used for this chapter. Just so you know, nothing is missing. I know time is valuable, and often we're viewing videos like these because we need to get something done. But I hope you'll invest the time to not only view them, but also to follow along and repeat the examples on your own to help reinforce those skills. Research and experience clearly shows that when a person sees it, hears it, and does it, they actually learn it much better than doing any one of those things on its own. With the hands-on practice, you'll retain the information much better. After all, that is our number one goal, that you gain skills you can immediately apply and that you be able to use those skills well into the future. I hope you enjoy your training experience and take advantage of the wonderful opportunities tables will add to your abilities using Excel.